Welcome to this lesson and I'm going to show you what the coefficient of a term like this is. The coefficient of this term for x is asking for what number the x is being multiplied by. And when you have a term like this in maths, a number directly in front of a letter, that's really just multiplying the letter, which is also called a pronumeral. And because the x is being multiplied by 4, therefore the coefficient of x is 4. And that's how easy it is. It gets a little bit harder when you have something like this, something like x over 2. common mistake here is to think that x is being multiplied by 2. But this is really equal to x divided by 2. And 2 is really itself divided by 1. And the rule when you're dividing by a fraction like this, or any fraction, is to change the divide to times and turn this fraction upside down which then becomes a half and so now you can see that x is being multiplied by one half not by the number two so the coefficient of x in this example here is one half or yeah the coefficient of x in this term here is one half another example is the term 3x over 4 similar to the last one so what's x being multiplied by here? This can be separated into what's happening on the top. So 3x is on the top. That means 3 times x. And on the bottom, 4 is really 4 times 1. Now when you have something like this, that can actually be separated into two separate fractions, like 3 over 4 times x over 1, like that. And then x just represents a number or stands for a number, and any number divided by 1 is just that number. So x divided by 1 is equal to x. So the next step really becomes 3 quarters times x, and now you can see that the x is actually being multiplied by 3 quarters. So not just by the 3, but by 3 over 4. So the coefficient of x in this term here is 3 quarters. And terms don't have to be just x terms. You can have an x squared term like minus 5x squared. So what's the x squared being multiplied by here? By the minus 5. So the coefficient of x squared is minus 5. And the numbers can be all sorts of numbers. Whole numbers, negative numbers, fractions, they can be decimals. So you have minus 0.2 w cubed and the coefficient of w cubed is all of that number there minus 0.2 because the w cubed is multi being multiplied by negative 0.2. You can have another one like this. You can have root 3 w a x squared and the coefficient of that whole term is just this number here because the root 3 is multiplying the w a x squared. So you can have a number like root 3 which is an irrational number. You can also have a number like pi. You could have pi y to the power of 5, and the coefficient of y to the 5 is pi. So there are all sorts of numbers that you can have that can be coefficients. So once again, the coefficients are just these things that are multiplying by the letters, and they can be any sort of number. So whole numbers, negative numbers, fractions, decimals, and things like pi or square roots of numbers. This one's a bit hard to circle because there's no 1 there, but there really is a 1 next to that x because that's really 1 times x, and so that would be the coefficient there. So that's actually a quick way of doing that if you just have x over a number. So for example, if, if you had x over 3, you could put a 1 there and go, okay, so the coefficient here is 1 third because you know that that is x divided by 3, x over 3, and then the steps would be x that can go over 1 and then change the divide to times and then flip that and you end up with the 1 third. So that's kind of a quick way of doing or finding the coefficient in that particular case. So that's what the coefficient of a letter or combination of letters is in maths. Simply the number or numbers that it's being multiplied by. And that's about it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.